officials are Danny Crawford, Jack Knees, and Terry Durham. Bob, I think the thing to watch here earlier, what are the matchups going to be? Reggie Miller told us yesterday that he was going to guard Kobe Bryant, but let's see how the Lakers match up against the Pacers. And now Harper looking for Shaq, who takes it in deep, and you can't stop that. Well, if you're going to let him get it that deep, you cannot let him foul, get, get the basket and the foul. Little interchange underneath the basket, and the Pacers got confused. Now watch as Shaq steps over, and Dale Davis allows him to get right in front of him. And we talked about when he gets it that deep, you can't get into the double team. Shaq finishes it, and he gets the foul. Shaquille oh. O'Neal showing early signs of just overpowering the Pacers in the paint. Miller against Harper to the baseline. The running one hander is blocked by O'Neal, and he recovers it as well. Out to Bryant. Kobe pulls up and hits. Here's Bryant, who's hit all three of his field goal attempts. O'Neal jumbles it, recovers. Not only hits the basket, but as you were saying, Doug, once he's in that deep, it's almost impossible to wrap him up, and any foul only contributes to a three-point play possibility and to getting the Pacers' front line into foul trouble. O'Neal, little fadeaway. Wow, how good was that footwork? It looked like he was going to shoot a jump hook in the lane. He spun out and shot a fading jump shot on the baseline. Bryant smits out on him on a switch. Here's Shaq for the jumper from the baseline that beats the shot clock establishes a 12-point lead at 26-14. On Harper, in deep to O'Neal. Harper's fourth assist, he's chipped in with five points as well. O'Neal's turnaround, well, if he's going to hit that, in addition to overpowering you inside, you might as well wave the white flag of surrender. One-on-one -on -one coverage here with Shaq. Leaving Harper alone for three. It's all going right right now for the Lakers. O'Neal backing in on Perkins. McKee there with the help. But it's not enough. I'm shocked that they allowed to, uh, Shaq to take two dribbles, turn, and lay that ball in the basket. Bryant with the miss. O'Neal with the recovery. And he scored 19 points. And we still have seven and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Sam Perkins on the run. And O'Neal says, get it out of here. O'Neal against the smaller Perkins. Now they surround him. He gets the roll, scores the basket, comes to the line. Into O'Neal. Only Jackson there to help. He turns on Smiths and tips in his own miss. Phil Jackson, with just a subtle way of getting his team's attention, told them after that last time out, he says, Rick Smiths has six points. We have five. We're starting out the wrong way. Bob? Thanks, Ahmad. Trying to rectify that situation. They go to O'Neal. His hook is no good, but there's Rice with the follow, and now it's all over when it winds up in Shaq's hands. Mark Jackson blocked away by Bryant and taken by Rice. Into O'Neal in the paint. The hop, the jumper, Dale Davis grabbed it. Score the basket on the goaltending call. Out to Harper, his three-pointer. Shaq's got the rebound, and the follow is good off the glass. He was just made a spectacular play. Perkins was in front of him. That was just great athletic ability by Shaq to go right over the top of him, take it away from him, and shoot the ball right in the basket. Shaw just in, gives it to Shaq, and Shaq's shot was partially blocked, but still goes. Miller on the drive, Shaq with the block. Kobe, and the Lakers get some breathing room. Back up by six. Here's Shaw firing one to beat the buzzer, and that's his first basket of the ball game. Shaw from Shaq. Best. Shaw for the rebound. Rick Fox in the front court. He has been to O'Neal, who now has 33. O'Neal finds Ori with a nice pass, and Robert Ori scores. That backside guy on the defense has got to step up. That's twice now Shaq has passed out of the double teams for layoff. Once to Shaw, this time to Ori. O'Neal over Crozier for the rebound. He powers back up and scores. That's what I was talking about, the rebound. And you see Shaquille O'Neal now with 35, but they've got a small team out there. Sam Perkins. He's got to try to get his body on Shaq, but he just overpowered him. Deep to O'Neal. He has 37 points. Now, Dale Davis 
so strong, but Shaq just sort of just walked him across the lane, caught it about four feet, and jump hooked it in the basket. O'Neal again. 39 points, and watching this makes you appreciate the post defense of Portland. Here's Robert Ory. Reggie Miller on the drive flips it up with the left hand and comes up empty one for 15 now this is where they want to use clock and stay organized and look at that oh. yeah the Shawshank right there there's your Shawshank redemption now that started on Orlando when these guys played together for the magic they do that as well as anybody in the NBA the MVP the look in his face the man wants a championship to finish this season. Bryant dribbles and waits for the buzzer. There it is. The Lakers take game one. Jack, 43-19. I guess we must say that Diesel was in effect this evening. I, I was just trying to get deep position and take the high percentage shot like I've been doing all year. And I, when they doubled, I kicked it out to my teammates. My teammates shot the ball very well. You know, we knew that this was going to be a difficult game. You know, we had a couple uh, of our lapses, but we were able to uh, get our focus back and you know, win the game. Now we, uh, we realize game two is going to be a difficult game, and we have to be extra ready. In the first half, the triangle is working very well. Third quarter, sort of a lull. What happened then? I think I think in the first half, we were really, really focused. Then once we got our lead, we got kind of lax the days. But uh, after uh, a timeout and Phil Jackson drilled us, we got our focus back. Did you feel like in the fourth quarter you had to take over? Because that's when you did. I mean, you know, my teammates was getting me the ball in a good position, and, you know, I was just taking the high percentage shots. One of the things that's helped you guys, I guess, is the rhythm. You've been playing every couple of days. But what about the fatigue factor? I don't think we're going to get tired. You know, uh, Phil Jackson uh, does a great job of getting us prepared. And the same the time to get tired. So, you know, we got one. Now we just, uh, you know, have to try to get three more. Jim, thanks. So at 6.40 a.m., Bird had already been up for three hours. <laughs> what, has he got a paper route? No, he's a coach. He's worrying for 12 different people. <laughs> that may have been a false alarm. <laughs> alarm over Shaq's performance is justified from Indiana's perspective. Even though Smith's is 7-4, they have Davis at 6-11, jump against O'Neal, and the Lakers control it. O'Neal spins on Smith's. And Rick Falden. Shaquille O'Neal finds A.C. Green with a nice pass. Here's Bryant. Six on the shot clock. Reggie defending. Kobe finds Shaq. He powers off for the goal. Plus the foul. Now see, Rick Smith made a mistake there. Reggie flops back to take the foul. And he frees up Kobe Bryant. And you're going to see Rick Smith come out to contest the shot. And when he does, he leaves Shaquille O'Neal all alone underneath the basket for the power dunk and the foul. What you've got to do is you've got to make Kobe make that shot and stay at home on Shaquille O'Neal. Those are the kind of baskets that kill you. Three-point play by Shaq brings the Lakers to within two. Kobe Bryant. Looks like he sprained his ankle when Kobe came down. He's on the floor. And he's writhing in pain, holding his left ankle. Meanwhile, Rose guns a three at the other end. Shaq takes the rebound. The Lakers have a break. Harper lays it in, but the greater concern is Kobe Bryant. O'Neal, turn around from near the foul line, and he hits it. Jalen Rose driving on Shaw, and Shaq blocks it. O'Neal over Perkins, going to follow his own here and score, plus the foul. Jalen Rose spinning through traffic to Crozier. Took it right at O'Neal, but couldn't finish it. Shaw loves it for Shaq, who finishes it, and they tack on the foul. When Brian Shaw is in the corner, you cannot let Shaq roll off of you. This is their play. They did this in Orlando. They're doing it here. See, Tabak has got to lay in behind him. If he's in there to get fouls, let him catch the ball and then foul him. Not foul him after a spectacular play. But what about the grace of this big man? He goes up strong and finishes, and you see Larry Bird saying, that's not what I want. Three-point play. O'Neal. Well, if he's going to make those, you're in deep, deep trouble. The Pacers trail it by three. But the Lakers will be without Kobe Bryant for at least the remainder of this game. Here's Shaw. 
It's amazing. It seems like the Lakers always come up with a guy to make a shot at the right time for them. Lakers by three. Remember now, Smith has three fouls. He's got to stay away from his fourth. And O'Neal scores on it. Shaq with 17. Here's Brian Shaw into the lane, throws up that little teardrop shot that's no good. And O'Neal is hammered as he tries to go up with the follow. Part of the problem, if they decide to go to Hackashack, that means they have to put Tabak on the floor for a while because Davis now has three fouls. Smith is on the bench with five. They don't have that many to use up anymore. Ori dumps it into Shaq over Perkins who fouled him. The NBA Finals record, as you see, most free throw attempts in a game, you would think it would be Wilt, but no. Bob Pettit of the then St. Louis Hawks in 1958 against Bill Russell, Bob Cousy, and the Celtics. Well, let's take a look here to see whether he gets a march on it, gives it a chance to go in. Lifted that one pretty nicely. It's amazing, Bob. He, he starts out and he gets into a rut, like two for 11, and then he gets a rhythm and he starts making them. We've seen this happen throughout the playoffs. Now Perkins inside, but here's Shaq. You can see it coming from our vantage point, even if Perkins didn't. Shaq was closing ground on him. There was no way that shot was going to see the rim. Well, see, the reason this happens is because Shaq is playing against Dale Davis, who is standing right underneath the basket. So Shaq is right there to block any shot. That's why your big men have to be able to make shots against Shaq to get him out of there. O'Neal, turn around, got it. We just saw the tape of you, 89 game two, had the injury and didn't play anymore. Let's talk about Kobe in that sort of same situation. What's the thought process? Well, the thought process is simple. Dr. Lombardo and Gary V, our trainer, made the right call. Keep him out. Keep that swelling down because everybody feared if he would have came back and played tonight, it would have swelled over tonight and probably wouldn't play uh, game three in uh, Indiana or possibly game five. So now we get the ice on it, get in, get, uh, keep pressure on it, keep the swelling down. So hopefully, you know, it's a day-to-day -day process, but hopefully he can play on Sunday. Harper looking for Shaq. They get it deep to him, and there's no way in the world that Perkins can contend with that. Harper to O'Neal. Three pacers around him. Two of them on the floor like bowling pins knocked over. And this is what he's going to have to do to finish this game. And now he's 11 for 25. Bob Pettit had a lot of NBA records. I'm sure he doesn't mind relinquishing this one. A trivial one after 42 years. The lob for Shaq. He couldn't control it. Now he does. And they foul him. The biggest man in the league and the smallest man on the floor go down together. And luckily Best wasn't directly beneath him. Otherwise, they'd be scraping him off the court with a spatula. Perkins fakes on O'Neal. Best into the lane to the hoop. But Shaq is up, blocks the shot, got him with the body, but still it sends a message. They're going to call flagrant on that. Now O'Neal's got it. Glenn Rice for three. 21 points for Glenn Rice. Jalen Rose answers at the other end, but his basket was a two. Rice's was a three. O'Neal scores against two defenders. Rice into the lane. Shaq to finish it up. Well, they foul Shaq if he touches it. He's got it. He goes up with the shot. If they were going to foul him on purpose, they waited too long and ran the risk of a three-point play. You have to believe that Smits has fallen into disfavor with Larry Bird because an obvious strategy here would be to put him in, get the ball to him in the paint. At 7-4, he can get his shot off against O'Neal and possibly force O'Neal into foul number six. Then the Lakers would have to play the duration without O'Neal and Bryant. Now Crozier bumps off Shaw. No call. And Crozier's jumper bounces in. O'Neal, and they grab him. Again, one of two. That's been his pattern. Jalen Rose on the run, tough shot. It's in Shaquille O'Neal's hands, and they foul him as soon as he grabs it. Almost like clockwork, one of two. See, now Reggie keeps dropping the ball into Crozier. He's got to come off that screen and attack Brian Shaw and get to the foul line or get a basket. They're going to double team him, and they're going to get the foul. Miller hit 91%. With his first two points of the fourth quarter, he has 21 for the game, and more importantly, it's a three-point difference. You cannot let Shaq lay the ball in the basket. No layups, no dunks. He looks for Ori, and then grabs plus the foul. A spectacular shot by Robert Ori off the O'Neal assist. Big men can't do that. You're not supposed to be able to make a play like that. Shaquille gets the ball in the lane, and watch this touch pass. He realizes three or four guys are coming at him at the last Shaw, somebody making a big shot. This 
This could be a dramatic three-point play. And it is. Jalen Rose to the basket. See, they didn't need a three. That's a good play by Rose. You shoot a three and you miss. Oh, they're going to foul. They're going to foul Perkins. Perkins didn't know the rule. He fouled Shaq off the ball. Larry Bird's telling him the rule. Now it's going to be probably Glenn Rice shooting a free throw. That's something that you, as a coaching staff, also have to make sure that you let your players know exactly what that rule is. That could be tough. Now, you give them a point, that makes it five. Now, the big deal is if they score, it's a seven-point game. That's three possessions instead of two. That's how big that play is. Fox on the run, banks it in. They'll count the basket, plus the foul, and it begins to look like even without Kobe Bryant, the Lakers will take a 2-0 lead to Indiana. Down by seven with seven seconds to play, and they lose it. Fox could have taken it to the hole, but he's content to just let it take away and to go with his team to Indiana, up 2-0 in the series. Shaq, it, it looked like when Kobe went down, you guys collectively as a team realized that somebody had to come up big. Yeah, you know, we uh, you know, we felt we didn't play very well at the beginning. You know, you know, my teammates were looking for me. You know, they tried to hack a Shaq. I missed a couple in the first half. I think I was, you know, trying to. Uh, but once I settled down, you know, just took my time, you know, most of them fell for me. And, uh, you know, we just uh, played hard, played good defense, and, you know, we just wanted to, you know, really get this game, and we did. Well, the defensive strategy was to go to the hack a Shaq, but you are doing your part to put that thing to rest. Yeah, you know, first half, like I said, you know, I missed, like, uh, you know, 10 or, or, or 12. Uh, I think that I was trying to hard. So I just, you know, said to myself, calm down, shoot. I was looking over at my father, you know, he just told me, take my time, follow through, and you shoot. Everything will be all right. So now, coming into game two has been a problem for you guys in these series, but coming in tonight, it looks like you guys match the energy. You know, we knew that they were going to come in, fired up, come and play hard. And, uh, you know, the reason why game two, I think, has been a problem because we've been blowing teams out game one. And, uh, you know, they just uh, came back. You know, they're the best in the East, so, you know, we knew that they weren't going to give it to us. So, you know, we just played hard, and uh, we were able to uh, get another home win. All right, congratulations on a great game. The Lakers played 16 games this year without Kobe Bryant. The first 15 of the season when he was out with a broken hand. Later, he was suspended for one after a fight with the Knicks, and they were 12-4 and four in those games without Kobe Bryant. The man who starts in his place tonight, Brian Shaw, bailed them out of the Portland series. They might not be here without the veteran Shaw. But in this series, he's gone cold, hitting just 3 of 18 and 0 for 7 on threes after making seven consecutive threes in one stretch of games 6 and 7 against the Trailblazers. They get it to Shaq deep, and Smiths can't stop him. Well, that's like our open. When he gets it down there, it's too deep and it's too late. He'll just overpower you. Here's O'Neal driving baseline, and Smiths hacks him. Here's Shaq once again, deep post position. And if you're going to foul him, foul him. Make him make free throws. Now, Bob, very important. Shoots him early will decide how often Bird chooses to foul him. Smiths gets it back, tries it again, and the bank is closed for him. But he's showing more aggressiveness here at home than he did in the first two games in LA. Here is O'Neal against two defenders who are powerless to stop him. Jackson was over to try and help Smiths, but once he got it that deep, all he could do was pray that he'd miss the shot. Shaq in the paint. Rick Fox had it poked away by Jalen Rose. Ball still loose. Fox recovers it, lobs it for Shaq with the emphatic finish. They go to O'Neal, his turnaround in the lane. Nice touch on it. Three seconds to shoot. O'Neal with the hook. Got his own rebound and hits the follow. You just bounce off of him. I mean, Dale Davis is a big, strong man. Shaq just put his arm on him, and he rocked him back. O'Neal powers up and scores. You just can't keep him out of the lane. You have to have such good ball pressure that you can't throw it in so quickly. That's when you'll get the three-second violation. you got to pressure the ball enough so he has to get out of the lane. Smith's had it knocked away. He recovers it. Still plenty of time to shoot. Rose has a three, but can't put it down. O'Neal with five seconds to shoot. Harper with the fake and the pop. Just before the 24-second clock, Shaq recovers it, powers in, and tack on the foul. O'Neal double-team, has it back from Shaw. 
Davis trying to defense him. Made him take a shot that Indiana will accept, but if Shaq is going to hit it, well, all you can do is shrug your shoulders. Shaw looking for O'Neal. Back to Shaq in the paint, jump up. See what's happening, the, the Pacers are double teaming. They're allowing that ball to come back to the passer. The double team guy's got to get out of there. Shaq is reposting, they're going right back to him. They've got to deny that pass out of the double team. The lob to Shaq underneath, he loses everybody and scores. You really can't front Shaq down there because there's no weak side help and you don't want to give him a layup. The worst thing you do is foul him and make him make a couple free throws. Here's Derek Fisher, thought about a three. Here's the fake into the lane, gives it up to Shaq. He was fouled and puts it in. The basket will count, giving him 26. Jalen Rose got free, but couldn't finish it. Harper looking for shot. The touch passes it out to Ori. Now Fisher, who hits another big shot for the Lakers. Now Shaq is two for eight from the free throw line, so they cannot let him lay it up. They've got to foul him. It's Dale Davis on him. He backs him in. He takes the turnaround, and he cuts the lead to five. Crozier screens for best, leaving him alone for three, and there's your answer. Wow. They needed that, and Travis Fisher, Miller's got him on a switch. Three seconds to shoot. Shaq will. How big might this be? Potential three-point play. Here's Shaq with eight on the 24. Out to Harper. Dribbles into the lane. Flips it up and hits it. Crozier, contact. Ball loose. Crozier picks it back up and scores. Great hustle. Great. He just wanted the basketball. And what a big basket to put him back up six. O'Neal. And again, it's a four-point difference as the clock moves down toward two minutes. Shaq has 32. Oh, whistle at the other end. Rick Fox, there a bad foul. Gets the shooter's roll, and it's a six-point game. Glenn Rice, his jumper is short. The rebound tapped to the side by Crozier and recovered by Rose. Here's Perkins, this could put the Lakers away. Ori rebounds exactly a minute as he brings it out of the backcourt. Here's Shaq and Perkins, who has fouls to give personally. That was only his second. Immediately fouls him. You could say that Shaq's free throw shooting is at least a big part of the difference in this game. One of two for O'Neal. A six-point difference, 45 seconds. Off to Crozier. O'Neal with the rebound, and the Lakers still have life. Robert Ori lets it go. Could have cut the lead in half. O'Neal rebounds, Harper will try it, and he'll hit it. Long shots, long rebounds. Reggie just got to hold it here. They're going to foul him. It's interesting. Jalen Rose walked over to, to give him five to slap his hand. Reggie wanted no part of it. Leave me alone. I'm concentrating here. This one will give us a five-point lead if he can knock this one down is what he's saying. This was the scene that occurred, Reggie Miller at the free throw line. Now he makes the first one to go up four. Jalen Rose says, you know, give me some on that. Reggie said, no, no, not right now. Not now. Leave me alone. I want to make this free throw. And so then he walks up after he makes it. He says, now I will. He points to his head, gives him a little tap. He said, I love you, but I needed to make that free throw. I wanted to concentrate. That's great sight. Shaq, three of 13 on free throws as he scored 33. They go right to him, and it's over his head. And that's it. time since Phil Jackson won a game in Indianapolis. Remember, in the 98 Eastern Conference Finals, which went seven, his Bulls lost all three games at Market Square Arena, won all four games over Larry Bird's Pacers. That was Bird's first year as Indiana's head coach. Starting lineups familiar by now, and the Laker lineup includes Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Bob. I just spoke with Kobe. He said that he's feeling fine, a little bit stiff, but I did notice during the warm-ups and the layup line, he did not shoot any layups. I asked him about that. He said, well, I did that on purpose because I'm saving it for the game. He shot all jump shots, said he's going to drive to the basket once the game starts. Dale Davis drives on Shaq, who swats it away. As Harper tries to turn the corner on Miller and then hands it to Shaq, and Smith goes up to contest him and fouls him. He hits them both to start this one. Ron Harper. Shaq on the offensive glass with wow. the dunk. What a powerful move. He just tipped the ball to himself. Dale Davis tried to keep him off the block, just not big enough. And then the powerful finish. 
Here's O'Neal against Davis, who fouled him. The foul was Dale Davis's first. Shaq hit his first two. And now three in a row. O'Neal gets it deep, and they can't stop him. You know, it's a measure of his dominance that when he scored 33 in game three, relatively speaking, the Pacers felt they contained him. Now to Smith, who hasn't missed one yet. His fadeaway is blocked by Shaquille. Out of bounds and touched last by Indiana. Shaq backs into the paint, turns against two defenders and slams it down. Smith's had it knocked away and Kobe Bryant takes it for LA. Kobe with a great feed to O'Neal. A little wraparound backhand flip. O'Neal, just before the shot clock would have expired, hits the jumper. He has really perfected that little shot, that little power dribble going up, right arm close to the basket, and just sort of squirting the ball over the defender. O'Neal quiets the crowd. Here's Kobe Bryant against Reggie Miller. Kobe, left hand, banked it too hard. Shaquille O'Neal is there. The automatic finish once he got it that deep, plus the foul. He's made four of five free throws tonight, and the Lakers have a one-point lead. Glenn Rice, catch and shoot. Shaq volleyballs it to keep it alive, and then powers it down. This is where he's really punishing the Pacers. This was his ninth rebound of the quarter. 17 of them for the game. Here's Perkins for three. Best got it to Miller, and Reggie drills the three-pointer that gives the Pacers the lead by two. Reggie around Kobe. Deals it out to Rose. Touch pass to the side. Big smooth, Sam Perkins. Happy 39th. Fisher quickly back to O'Neal, and little Travis Best doing what he had to do. Take a look here to see if he's got the knees bent. Got the elbows, they're gonna come off his fingertip. Nice soft shot, he's got the arch, and he steps up and makes them both. Here's Shaq, into the lane, off balance. And this will go against L.A., and it's five on O'Neal. You know, somebody did get hurt real bad right there. Sam Perkins took one in the chest and went down. Shaq is the kind of guy, a gentle guy. A lot of guys would erupt there and really get angry. Shaq just keeps playing. With the jump hook off the glass. And the Lakers draw to within one. Travis Best turns the corner, pulls up, and banks it in. Kobe Bryant has an answer. Rose rebounds Bryant's miss. Then kicks it away. Shaq is there to scoop it up. Now he has it in the paint. They can't stop him, and they foul him. Five seconds to shoot. Reggie with the shake move and the drive, the reverse. See, Shaq is out on Perkins. That's why Bird has kept him out of there. The lane is wide open, or he couldn't get there soon enough. O'Neal out of the double to Fisher. Good look at a three. Trust your teammates. You're going to get double and triple team. Kick the ball out and trust that they can make big shots. Travis Best on the run. He has that knack of arcing it high. And with the 7-1 O'Neal coming out at him, the 5-11 Best had the right trajectory to score with it and tie the game at 95. O'Neal, he plays well all the time, it seems. I I'm just so impressed, though, how hard Shaq plays and how much he keeps his composure. Reggie. Three ball from the corner. Is there anybody in the league that uses screens better and has a quicker release than Reggie Miller? Davis leaning on O'Neal, who turns, goes up and misses, but tips in his own miss. Miller backs up for three. Are you kidding me? He has said repeatedly, if you want to be a hero, you've got to take hero shots. Well, that's the Pacers by two. Ten on the shot clock. Kobe Bryant spinning around Miller into the lane. O'Neal trying to finish it up. Hits the deck. The ball drops. They wave the basket off. One point game. Kobe fires the jumper and gives L.A. the lead. Harper got up on Miller. Five on the shot clock. Reggie fumbled it, throws it up with the left hand. A very difficult shot. He had his rhythm interrupted. Deep to Shaq, an immediate wrap-up by Dale Davis. Lakers by two with 1.02 on the clock. Jalen Rose, short. Ori with a big rebound. One of two for Robert Ori. Miller trying to come off a screen. They find Perkins for three, and he ties the game! It's Robert Ori. 
They look for Shaq and throw it away. Eight seconds. Travis Best. Shaq out on him. Best with the shot. It's way short. With 2.3 seconds on the clock, the Lakers are going to ask for time. Shaw to trigger it in. They look for Shaq. He makes the catch. He throws up a hook. And we are going to overtime. Robert Ory faked the three, moved in closer, and gives the Lakers the early lead in overtime. O'Neal driving on Smits. Ori is there to finish it up. Got to rebound the basketball. When you look out there right now, Smits is not a good rebounder for a big man, nor is Crozier. Smits against Shaq with a jump hook. The Shaq has got to be very careful. He cannot commit his sixth foul, so Smits has got to take his time. Kobe between two defenders. And Mark Jackson's got to step in there and trap him and force him to kick that ball out to Ron Harper. Rose spinning, looking for Smits. Winds up in Miller's hands, backs up for three. Can oh. you believe that? The awareness of the shot clock. He looked up, by Bobby, his eyes went to the target. What a game. And the Laker lead is one, but they get it deep to Shaq, and this could be a three-point play. Rose against Rice. Misses it. Shaw grabs the rebound. That's a loose ball foul on Shaq. That'll be number six. What a big play. That's it. Bill Jackson, hands in his pockets, staring at Steve Javi in seeming disbelief. Now in comes John Sally. And he's going to go against Smith, and Smith is going to have inside position here. If they double, somebody's got a three. He throws up the hook. He's got 20 points, and the Pacers are within one. Now you know that Kobe's going to take over the game. Be aware of Glenn Rice's three-point shooting, but Kobe is going to try to attack. Shaking on Miller and hitting a two-point basket. He was just inside the line. The Laker lead is three again. John Sally. Here he's got to try and stop Smits with game four on the line. And he can't do it. Question is, can Indiana get a stop? Kobe is going to go to work again. Here he is over Jackson. How good is this kid? Well, now Mark Jackson is in playing here, and you know defensively he is not a good defender. He matched up on Kobe on that play, but just stepping up and shooting huge shots. Here's Reggie Miller into the lane, missed on the run, and the foul is going to go against the Lakers. Again, it's a one-point game. The last two baskets made by Kobe Bryant barely missed being three-pointers. Driving now on Reggie. On the run, Smith comes over for the block. Rice. Air ball, but into the hands of Shaw. Worked like a perfect pass. Miller hands it inside to Crozier. 14 on the shot clock as the ball was knocked away. It's in Crozier's hands. He drives the lane, gives it to Smith, who's belted by Rice. As many good three-point shooters as the Pacers have, they might elect to foul. Maybe the Lakers make only one of two, and even if they make them both, you've got guys who can tie the game. Shot clock at 12. So you don't want to foul now because you got one to give. They won't shoot free throws. Shaw running one-hander, followed in by Kobe Bryant. Again, offensive rebounds. Two second shots in a row. You go to the basket, Bryant saw a tough shot, and who is there? Kobe Bryant over the shoulder for the follow-up. It was first Bryant Shaw with an offensive rebound. This time, Kobe Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal is on the bench. He loves it. The Lakers up three, 5.9 seconds to go in the game. Jackson looking to throw it in. There's contact with Fox climbing all over Jalen Rose. Now that is big because no time goes off. I think that's going to be one shot and the ball. That's almost automatic. Reggie now with 35 points. Rose will throw it in. Mark Jackson, four seconds. Reggie off the screen for three. The Lakers have a 3-1 lead. The lineups for game five. The Lakers haven't had a three-game losing streak all season, but they came perilously close to losing three in a row to Portland after establishing a 3-1 lead and almost saw their whole season go up in smoke. Jackson over to help Smits with O'Neal, leaving Harper open, and Harper 
Hits the uncontested three. Kobe over Davis. Shaq up in a crowd. Count it plus one. But once again, Shaquille, there's a lot of ways to score in this league. You don't always have to be the primary guy. And when he gets it in there, it's way too late, Bob. Kobe Bryant. Shaq. Again, offensive rebound, and we talk about the Lakers, one of the best in the NBA at getting second shots. Shaq with the short jumper. Jalen Rose. The Pacers have tried five three-pointers, and they've made them all. I have a bold prediction. If they continue to shoot threes at that clip, we're going back to L.A. Shaq. And the Lakers, what they're saying is, you know, it's almost very similar to games three and four against Portland. Take the big surge, just try to hang around and try to wear the Pacers down as the game goes on. Shaq tries to get deeper and deeper post position the longer the game goes. Shaq over the back of Perkins to tip it to himself, and now it's Ori for three. Those offensive rebounds. I know that Dick Carter, Larry Bird, Rick Carlisle, the staff, one of the things they wrote on the board before the game is, we gave up three offensive round rebounds in overtime that killed us. The Lakers are staying in the game here early with their rebounding. Perkins thought about it, gives it up to Jalen Rose. Now he has it back. Okay, you want me to, I will, but Shaq comes out and gets a piece of it. Now they swing it ahead to O'Neal and look out. How about that, Bob? How about he jumped out and blocked the shot, ran the floor, caught it like a tight end, and finished it on the run. And this guy's the most dominant player. That was a great agile play by Shaq. O'Neal. O'Neal, nice move. Here is O'Neal. And it rolls home for him. Shaq has scored 16 in this first half. Now it's Perkins on O'Neal. Shaq, a little hop into the paint, and he cans the jumper. That's that little pet move of his, a little rhythm across the lane, a little fading jump shot. Reggie with the steal. Jackson. Flips it back in, but into the arms of Rice. Kobe goes right by Smiths. Blows the layup, but Shaq is there to finish. Now, Rick Smith did a smart thing there. He didn't reach in and foul and get his fourth. Stay on the floor. You're, you're up 19. Give your team some help here. They're going to need you. Shaq posts up. Davis fell down. Smiths comes over late. Shaq scores. And the foul on Smiths is his fourth. Reggie now driving on Kobe. Get it out of here, says Shaq. There's the big block by Shaq. Kobe had it knocked away, got it back, looking for Shaq. Lots of Pacers there. O'Neal recovers it and scores. See how deep uh, Shaq is out there on the floor. He's not getting in the lane. Now, that's a tough shot that we saw the other night. They had 66 points in the paint. That was out of the paint. So if you're the Pacers, you have to say, you know what? We defended that pretty well. That's why Shaq's the MVP. He just made a great shot. Harper to Shaq. Well, that Shaq's easiest basket of this period. And it was off the uh, great penetration by Ron Harper as he got in the lane. Neal guarded by Perkins. Jackson there with the help. And Shaq hits the jump hook. He scored 31. O'Neal. I think what Phil Jackson is hoping right now for his team is that somehow they can find a little rhythm to finish this game. Something to feel good about as they go home, especially Kobe and Shaq. That is their two stars. Rice, good look at a three, and he hits it. Well, that's what they want him to do. Out of the double team, spot up and make that three, and Larry Bird does not want to leave Glenn Rice. Again, you don't want to let a guy get some looks in a game like this that will carry over to the next game. Back up top to Jalen Rose. He goes down the lane by Shaq and lays it in. Jalen Rose has been terrific from start to finish. Jim Gray had said his tailbone has bothered him a little bit at halftime, but I have not seen any problem in his movement as Shaq swings in there and hits that little jump shot. And now they come to their feet at the field house. Earlier they were chanting, Larry, Larry. And now this is saying, his last game here in Indiana as the Pacers coach. And now they're saying thank you. Thank you for bouncing back with this kind of effort. This showed a tremendous amount of pride by, by this Indiana team. They fought from start to finish. It's a big win for them and their franchise.
Staples Center crowd, not as raucous on a consistent basis as they are in Indianapolis, is clearly ready for game six. Well, now the tendency is in a game like this, when you feel the nerves, is that shooting maybe be off a little bit. Bob, to counter that, you've got to get second shots and offensive rebounds, and that's what the Lakers do very, very well. Here's Kobe Bryant forcing a shot. O'Neal in the lane, hits the hook. That's great post position. When he gets it that deep, there's nothing you can do about it. Dale Davis just does not have the size to bother him. He does have the strength, but he just doesn't have the size. O'Neal, double teamed, scores anyway. Just a little extra power there. He just turned into Smith, gave him a little bump, and then the nice rhythm play by Shaquille. Here's Smith against Shaq, who blocked it. Into the hands of Rice. Lakers got to establish Shaq inside, and somebody's going to have to start hitting some jump shots for them. Will it be Robert Ory? No, he gives it up to O'Neal. He went for point one rather than point two, establishing Shaq inside. O'Neal gets the hook. He's got ten. He's got such a soft shooting touch. He's got that shot mastered. When he gets in the lane, that little floating hook shot. O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal after the play, he really slammed that ball down hard, and then afterwards he gave Crozier a shove. O'Neal cuts into it a bit. He scored 14. That shot is rejected. Here comes Fisher, the lob to Shaq, gathers it in and scores. Now how good is that? that the big man running the floor, Fisher realizes just keep it in the building and Shaq will catch it. He catches it and goes up with a strong finish. Robert Ory to Shaq and it's six again. 18 points for O'Neal. Well, you can see his energy. He's waving to the crowd. Let's go. He's trying to uplift his team. Kobe Bryant took it away from Mark Jackson. Now Jackson's alone with him, and Kobe can't score. Ball knocked away, and O'Neal makes sure. The defense right now for the Lakers, not what they have had during the course of the season, and the Pacers are really finding their way. Now, when you have to struggle, what do you do? You go into Shaquille O'Neal. Remember, Kobe had taken the first three shots of the third period. Phil took a timeout and said, look, let's go inside the Shaquille, and he scores. O'Neal, how about the catch? And a great pass by Ron Harper. He threw it away from the defenders so that all that Shaquille had to do was catch it and lay it in the basket. That was a great play by both guys. Mark Jackson can't quite hit it. Spilled off the lip of the rim into the hands of Kobe Bryant. Kobe into traffic, hands it to O'Neal. Count the basket plus the foul. What the Lakers are able to do with Kobe Bryant, he is their point guard. And when you get your defense locked into their triangle, they break it, and he is allowed to go one-on-one, -on -one and he creates. This is when the Lakers are very scary. And O'Neal makes it a one-point game again. Jalen Rose with a turnaround. Oh. And he hits it with four tenths of a second remaining. Robert Ory looking for O'Neal. He brings it outside to Fisher for three. Remember Portland game seven. Fisher hits a big one. Shaw hits three big threes in that period. They're going to need other guys to step up to make some shots tonight. O'Neal spinning. And inside to O'Neal, and he will have another chance to tie the game. Here's Crozier out of the corner for three. Crozier has scored 13. Ori tries to answer, and does. Jalen Rose curls in. He's stripped. Shaw's got it. It's a two-on-one break. Kobe Bryant flips it to Shaq, who is back in. saying just give me a second the photographers are all along the baseline there and let's watch how the collision took place what just wonderful catch and finish now by Shaquille O'Neal off the glass and he looked like he just fell hard to his knee and the collective breath of Los Angeles takes a deep sigh of relief as Shaq gets up you see he goes down but this guy for his team. Austin Crozier. 
Gives it up to Jalen Rose. Into the lane he goes. In traffic, he tries a nearly impossible shot and misses it. Rick Fox, Miller guarding him. He pumps up a three. And Larry Bird immediately says, let's talk it over. Indiana playing from behind for the first time since the first quarter. Reggie, good look at a three. Overshot it badly, but Davis picks it up. Fake shot off his feet and scores. Kobe Bryant gives it up to Fox. Cross court, Ori out of the corner for three. Now the difference in this game is this man right here Kobe Bryant not so much that he's scoring but look what he does he collapses your entire defense three guys are playing and nobody to guard Shaq so even though he's not shooting a high percentage he's getting in the lane and breaking down the pacer defense Bryant Shaw wild shot looks like a pass and I'm pretty sure he knew that here's Ori again finally missed from that spot but it pops into Bryant's hands he goes up in traffic and finally, there's a whistle. See, he's doing a lot what Michael used to do in Chicago. Play that triangle for three quarters, and then that fourth quarter say, you know what, I'm going to break it here, and I'm going to make some things happen. That's what he's done. It's working, and the Lakers are leading. Touch pass back to Harper. He takes it to the hole, but can't finish. Crozier comes up with it. Here are the Pacers down by only three. Jalen Rose to tie it. There it is. Harper to Shaq, guarded by Davis. Turnaround jumper. got a piece of it but couldn't control it. Kobe Bryant throws it over Jalen Rose. The Pacers had tied it with seven unanswered points but six straight for the Lakers after the timeout and it's 109-103. Kobe Bryant has such great confidence he's going to spur up the penetration and he's going to hit the jumper to put him up six and he's going to go off I got it under control and Phil Jackson his coach wait, waiting for him and you know what he said to him I read his lips he said run the offense Kobe said okay I'll do it coach. He knows the confidence that Kobe has. He doesn't want to take that away from him. But right now, use the clock and power that ball inside. Miller, the fake, the three, he got it. And that's why it's so important. I think they're going to give him a yep, two. Yeah, it's a two. His foot was on the line, a two-point basket. And you know who's going to have the ball. They're going to get it to Kobe and try to get him to attack off the dribble and get to that free throw line. This is the time he loves when Shaq is out of the game that he can do his thing. He fires a three. And Jackson grabs the rebound. Here comes Jalen Rose all the way to the hoop. Blocked by Bryant, but recovered by Davis. Austin Crozier now. Hands to Davis, and Davis is fouled. He does miss it. It goes out of bounds with the Lakers touching it last. Jackson on the dribble gives it to Crozier. Two seconds to shoot. Crozier is fouled on the drive. That's a smart play, though. You don't need a three. Crozier brings the Pacers to within one. A minute and a half remaining in game six. Glenn Rice. Shaq screening. Rice into the paint. Blocked by Dale Davis. And a whistle from Joey Crawford. Again, in and in, it does not need a three. Way too much time. Crozier. Harper's got him on a mismatch. Crozier, turnaround, big shot, way short. Shaq grabs it and immediately, like a hot potato, gets rid of it so they can't foul him. Kobe Bryant, turning, shooting, short. Jackson picks it up. Pacers very much alive. Miller for three in the tie. It's long. Into the arms of Rice. 30 seconds. Kobe, off balance. And the whistle blows. He had the ball knocked away, but the foul is on Indiana. Four points. Five. Mark Jackson. He drives, throws it up. Dale Davis recovers and dunks it with 5.4 seconds. Into Bryant. He's expecting them to foul him. They take a while to do it. 
They let three seconds go off the clock. If he misses them both, the Pacers have a timeout left. That's not going to happen. Remember yesterday we spoke to Kobe Bryant, and I asked him, I said, Kobe, you're a dreamer. And he said, yes, and I'm going to dream that I'm going to be holding that trophy tomorrow night. And it looks like he's going to get his wish. In two and a half seconds, it appears he will. The Pacers, struggling to the last, use their last timeout. But no one has ever designed a five-point play that happens in two and a half seconds. Jackson looking to throw it in against Shaq. Reggie turns and pumps it up. Off the rim, and the Lakers are the 2000 NBA champions. guy around children around older people around people that some would walk past without a glance and he turns back and smiles at them and has a word for them he is a big man with a big heart and it's impossible you know Will said no one roots for Goliath hard not to feel happy for Shaquille O'Neal for the third time in NBA history the same person has won the MVP of the regular season, the MVP of the All-Star Game, and the MVP of the Finals. This time, Shaquille O'Neal did it by averaging 38 points and 16 rebounds for the Finals. To the unanimous MVP of the 2000 Finals, Shaquille O'Neal. Playoffs. 
Shaq feeling some contact. Able to go glass. Geiger. A oh, nice little turnaround. Beautiful uh, wrist jumper by Matt Geiger. Well, he's been under fire in Philly since he's been there. He signed a big contract. He's been hurt. The Philly fans are tough. They want you to get him down and perform as we see the jump hook by Jack. Shaq again getting down. They the foul. Dikembe did everything he could. That's just a brilliant move by an amazing basketball player. The footwork. Final seconds. Bryant. Once again, played very well by Bell and forced to have a heel. He's able to flush it home. Seven tenths of a second remaining in this first half. The NBA Finals record for most points and a half. Michael Jordan, he had 35 and a half. So Iverson fought him short. Shaquille O'Neal with 20 points. Here's Kobe Bryant. Lost his balance. He felt he was pushed. Rod Lewis has checked in. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Now looking for Kobe to get going. Very quiet game thus far. Shaq. Well, Shaq has done his part. He now has 26. Snow. Snow is out of control. See, to Rod Lewis in the game now is a point guard. That means Kobe. Sixers perfect up the line. They're 16 for 16. O'Neal from Lowe. It comes at the foul. Some of the Sixers looking for a traveling violation. Rod Lou now operating at the point. Shaquille O'Neal over Feasting inside. Now he's in a rhythm. They collapse on O'Neal. It opens it up for Shaq. Yes. It's amazing. Up with big baskets. Aaron McKee is double teaming now. So got about five steals in ten minutes. Well, that's for Lou. He is giving him some some energy, something they desperately needed. Originally a first round pick of the Denver Nuggets. Here's Lou shooting. Yes. Convert on the line. Fox to the right. If you get those sits down, you go right down the boulevard. Nobody back the black there to block shots. Bryant trying to shake off snow. Here's Bryant. Foul, Eric Snow taking it to the rip to tie the game at 94. Roger Bell, the Kevin Matumbo, final seconds. Here's Snow, final one. And he can get the time. Back with single players. Matumbo, the Lakers with a two point lead. All right, here's Lou with time running out on the Lakers. That will count the Philadelphia 76ers. Defeated the Los Angeles Lakers in game one. The check of the starting lineups for the Sixers Tyrone Hill, Jermaine Jones, the Kemi Matumbo up front, Adam Iverson, Aaron McKee in the backcourt. The Lakers with the usual starting five Rick Fox, Horace Grant, Shaquille O'Neal on the front line, Kobe Bryant, Derek Fisher in the backcourt. Shot clock at five. Shaquille O'Neal with his first field goal. McKee on the follow. Stopped by O'Neal. But blows the stuff. And it will be Laker ball. The Lakers continue to struggle. Fox got hit in the head. Served up for Iverson, but off the mark. Rick Fox is hurt. Here's Bryant. Yes. Another the other night, Rick Fox landed on his head. Off a collision. He's shaken up again. McKee. 
the penetration. Bryant. So Kirby is four for seven, ten points, and the 76er lead is one. Boy, Allen Iverson, that's about the fourth time now he looks like he's got hit in the face. Oh, and he jumped it straight by Shaq. Third block shot for Shaquille O'Neal. The lineup up sitting on the bench, Matumbo. This is exactly what happened the other night. Dikembe knows he has to stay out of foul trouble. Well, Larry Brown has patched a front line together here with uh, Matumbo. Getting a rest, but all with Hill. Nice jump up by O'Neal. So Shaq, three or four from the field. He has seven. Oh, nice setup. First field goal. All right, Marv, thanks. You know we documented Aaron McKee's chip fracture in his ankle, but during the last time out, he had a heating pad on his left quadricep. I've been told by the trainers he has an actual strain. He's trying to play through it right now, but they're going to look at it again at halftime, and we'll follow up in the third quarter. Or he's shooting. Robert Ory with his second field goal. There's the double on Shaq. Beautiful pass. Shaq got it on him. For the putback. Shaquille so tough in game one on on putbacks. Back comes Bryant. Bobby going one on two. So Shaq has 11. Now this is the patience that Phil Jackson wants from Kobe Bryant. Survey the floor, penetrate, find Shaq, and that is a very, very high percentage shot. But again, probe the defense, bring everybody to you, and then drop it off with a beautiful double pass and a powerful finish. Very proper play for Larry Brown earlier in his career with the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. Here's Kobe. Jack. With 13 points, 11 rebounds, and the Sixer lead is down to one. And this crowd urging the Lakers on. Shot clock at four. Whoa. A combo. <laughs> a line drive. Slow motion hook shot. Shot. So the Lakers have come from behind. They now lead 45 43. The last loss by the Lakers was back on the 1st of April, losing to the Knicks here in LA. They have that uh, long layoff. O'Neal. And the Lakers now lead by four. Hill on the fake, rejected. Fox on the loose ball. The Lakers try to tie the series at one. 76 is trying to go two up with the scene shifted to Philadelphia. 76ers looking for a goal Ted Larry Brown walking the sideline. Nice play. Shaquille O'Neal out of the double team, finding the cutting Robert Hall. Well, Jackson telling us yesterday he was expecting more double teaming on the part of the, the Sixers. Shot with another reject. Snow. McCullough. Lakers lead 65-61. Well, Shaq blocks his previous shot, and Kobe runs out, and he gets the fast break, something the Lakers have done very well tonight. O'Neal is fouled. I thought there have been so many instances in this game where you think, hey, this, this will be a turning point, and the 76ers hang right in. Ori. adjustment by Robert Orr. That's, that's a nice play because McCullough can't move his feet quickly enough, so rather than shoot the jumper, drive the ball to the basket, Matumbo comes over to help, and you drop it off to Shaq for the easy score. Lakers by five. As we approach two minutes to go, in the first, Shaq with his eighth block shot that ties an NBA Finals record. Here's Cody. And the Lakers lead by seven. Their biggest lead of the night. Shaquille O'Neal with eight blocked shots and counting to tie an NBA Finals record that is uh, held by Bill Walton. He came up with eight 
in a game against the 76ers, June of 77. Akeem Olajuwon at eight against the Celtics. And Patrick Ewing of the New York Knicks in June of 94 with eight against the Houston Rockets. And uh, Shaq has done it here this evening. Well, when, it, when it's done, it's led to fast breaks on the other end of the floor for the Lakers. Every time they've been able to block a shot, they've been able to punch it out and get some easy scores. Here's the double. Fisher for three. Yes! And that has to feel very good for Garrett Fisher and the Lakers who have missed their previous nine from downtown. Lakers now lead by 10 as this fourth quarter gets underway right at the start of the quarter. Obviously, Allen Iverson regaining his composure. Robert Horry with a facial beautifully set up by Shaquille O'Neal. Iverson for three. And Iverson said, you better get here sooner than that. If you're going to come off the bench, you better get to me quickly. And once again, it's back to a nine-point game. Iverson has 20. Here's Bryant. Love it. Puts it down. Well, how about the Lakers, the way they're attacking the pressure tonight? They're on their feet here at Staples as we approach two minutes remaining. And the fourth, Fisher for three. Yes. What a gutty effort by the Sixers. The Lakers, a big win. We're going back to Philly 1-1. And you know, United, the first Union Center is going to be crazy on Sunday night. Jack with 28 points, 19 rebounds, 8 block shots, 9 assists. Well, Kobe and Fisher, 45 points tonight, only 15 in game one. 30-point differential there with those two guys. Shaq was brilliant. Great stretch of the defense. We got a 1-1 series mark. I can't wait to get back to Philly. Shaquille O'Neal and the Kemi Matumbo on the opening trip controlled by Tyrone Hill. O'Neal starting deep. Here's Shaq, draws the foul. The key coming over to help out, picked it up. Shaq able to get terrific position. Just impossible to stop when he's done. Yeah. Iverson. Allen Iverson getting good shot opportunities here at the start. Not the case in game two on Friday. Larry Brown telling us he was not looking for screens. O'Neal with a beautiful jumper from just inside the free throw spot. A tumble. And Shaq looking to lead the break. Here's the key back. Shaq takes all the way. Shaq lost the rebound. Well, we saw Shaq lead the break successfully. Back in game one, here's Iverson. Rebound Grant. <laughs> when do you see a guy run the floor at 7-1 that effectively? I have never seen it. I also saw Aaron McKee get really smart and get out of his way and not take the charge. He was back there, and as courageous as he is, he said, you know what, I don't think I'm ready to quite take this charge yet. The game is tied at 12. Iverson with six points on three and seven shooting. Beautiful pass from Shaq, and Fox gets the roll. Shaquille O'Neal, a splendid passer. In fact, in, in game two, nine assists for Shaq. Here comes Grant on a double to help. Sixers try to take advantage. Iron Hill rejected. Sensational sequence for Shaq. First the block, then the hustle. Able to get terrific position, and now he's headed to the line. Lakers up by, uh, or rather, Sixers up by one, and a foul is called. Wow, Shaquille just turned and blasted into Matumbo. Five on the 24. Now to three, two, O'Neal. It counts. There's Bell helping out on O'Neal. Freeze up Ori. Yes, a three for Robert Ori, who has been a terrific playoff performer throughout his career. 76ers winning game one in stunning fashion in Los Angeles in overtime, providing a scare in the fourth quarter against the Lakers in game two. Lakers able to pull it out. Here's Bryant, Kobe Bryant again. A sensational first half 
for Kobe. Rejection, stopping Snow, and last touched by the Sixers. Well, Shaq made a great play. Larry Brown is very unhappy. He thought it was a foul, but the referee ruled that Snow jumped in to Shaq to draw the foul. Shaq gets the block shot. The ball goes off Snow. Got clock at four. Horry. Low able to keep it alive. Gerard Lou, who goes six foot, gets it into Shaquille O'Neal, and a foul late whistle that the Sixers object to. O'Neal with the drop step move. We got O'Neal, O'Neal, five for nine for the field, eight of nine for the line. He has 18 points. Shaq at the high post. touch by Shaquille O'Neal moving to his right and then hitting on the run. O'Neal, oh he feels it. Beautiful touch. Doing it with the drop step, doing it with fadeaways along the baseline. He now has 22. Here's McKee rejected by O'Neal. Shot clock down at two. The extra pass costing the 76ers. It's a 24 second violation. Kobe Bryant, he's been off here on the third. O'Neal, little change up by Shaq. O'Neal off the fake. O'Neal on the putback. See, it's hard for Dikembe to make that second effort. Shaquille is so much quicker with his second jump. Here's Bell, rejected by O'Neal. And it will be sixer ball with five on the 24. Shaq getting down deep. And Shaquille has to be very careful. It is so easy to pick up number six with an offensive foul working on the top. Shaquille O'Neal playing with five fouls. Derek Fisher playing with five. Kobe not able to hit, but Shaq puts it down. Kobe Bryant is two of his last 15. Iverson racing down. Iverson kicks it out. Snow for three. And that will wrap it. The Los Angeles Lakers able to come away with a victory here in game three, despite the fact they lost both Shaquille O'Neal and Derek Fisher on fouls, and they take a two games to one lead in this best of seven NBA Finals. Five minutes gone by. Adam Iverson now one for four here at the start. Jack getting position. Shaquille O'Neal with his first field goal. Both teams remaining the same following the timeout. Here's Grant. O'Neal. And Shaq puts it down. A facial served up. On the tumbo, tumbo, and missed by Jones on the follow. Should have got two hands on that one, made sure he got the easy one. And Shaq does it again. Shaq's running right to the front of the rim, Mark. Anytime they have a fast break, he's going right to the front of the rim, and the tumbo is sealed directly behind him. That is unstoppable. Kobe Bryant with the reverse. And Shaq will get credit for the two. Lakers up by four. O'Neal, Sixers want a traveling violation, but a foul is called. Well, Aaron McKee is uh, obviously not what he was. Beautiful pass. It counts, and the foul, and Brian Shaw with the bucket is headed to the line. Iverson over to help. Looked like a travel. And you can hear the reaction from the crowd. Little drop step move by by Shaq. Here's the double on Shaq. Oh, nice pass. Hopper with the bucket, and he is fouled. Hopper cutting to the basket, and again we saw on the double. That was actually a triple team. Shaq finds the open now. Hopper feeling it for three. Run, Hopper. He has that Laker bench up cheering. O'Neal. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal with yet another facial against Akebi Matumbo. Shaq eight for nine in game three. 
struggling once again at the line. As he did the first two games. Shot. What's the reverse? Or who's blocking out the shooter? That's Shaq. You got to block out the shooter. O'Neal. Beautiful turnaround by Shaq, who has 22 points. O'Neal. O'Neal on the foul. And a foul. The Sixers are not able to do anything here tonight against Shaquille O'Neal. We have seen very few spurts by the Sixers. Four unanswered. And that's a big deal the way things have been going here for Philadelphia. Well, Phil Jackson's going to immediately go to Robert Ory, not happy with a couple turnovers. But when you've got Shaq, you can go right into the post and you can quiet the crowd. And Fox with Ory and O'Neal up front. Fisher and Bryant at the guards. Here's the drop step. Oh, beautiful move. Shaq once again going to the finesse. See, Robert Ory's in the game now. He brings the ball up against Hill, so there really is no pressure defense. That's why Phil went back to him. O'Neal with a power move on Matumbo. Footwork, dump shots, power. Shaq gets position. O'Neal. So Shaq goes back to the power move. Little played by Hill on a switch. Where's the mismatch? Oh, Iverson on the blind side nearly stripped Shaq. Shaq for three. And Brian Shaw once again comes up with a clutch field goal from downtown. Ron Harper getting lots of playing time tonight. Shaq, 34 points for Shaquille O'Neal, along with 14 rebounds and four assists. Ori this time from straight away from downtown. Well, if you don't double Shaq, he has 34. If you do, they're pairing you with their three-point shooting. Mark, this is, this is an amazing run that this Lakers team is putting on right now. So the Los Angeles Lakers with a commanding three games to one lead over the Philadelphia 76ers who are hearing cheers from the crowd. It's a tough crowd here in Philadelphia, but they have appreciated this hustling 76er ball. This season, the Lakers 4-0 in closeout situation. A crowd of defense from this crowd. Once again, Shaq forced to start out a bit deeper than usual, but a beautiful spin. And the Sixers now lead 12-8. Apparently there was uh, audio difficulty with uh, that report from Jim Gray. No difficulty on the part of Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal. And the 76ers now lead 19-18. Here's Bryant. Rebound O'Neal. Has the double team going. Lynch over to help. Fisher for three. Yeah. Garrett Fisher with his second three-pointer. O'Neal with the beautiful drop step. That's his third field goal. Six points for Shaq Tumbo. And here's Shaq getting down court. And the crowd looking for a foul off the contact with McKee. Now that's what we saw the other night. Early in the game, Shaq ran early. He got to the basket. He caught the ball around the rim and finished with power. Let's see if that gets him going. Here's O'Neal, and a foul is called. Here's Hill. Oh, Tyrone Hill very much into it tonight. That's his third field goal. He has seven points, six rebounds. The Sixers down by four, but Shaq gets it right back. Had my eye on Shaq the entire way, went right to the front of the rim. Colby was watching him. He pointed to the corner, said, throw it to the corner and get me the ball inside. That's exactly what they did. The alley up for O'Neal. Rick Fox right on target. 3.15 remaining in this first half. The tumbo thought he was fouled. Rick Fox open. O'Neal able to keep it alive. Oh, beautiful backdoor pass, but Fox came up short on the reverse. O'Neal going right at Geiger, and the foul is called. Allen Iverson hanging in, being played aggressively by Derek Fisher. Beats him off the dribble, rejected by O'Neal. The Sixers have to come with that same energy they started the game with. They cannot dig themselves a hole. Here's Bryant able to post up. Rebound O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal with 19 points. Well, it was great recognition by Kobe. Iverson was on him on the switch. He went into the post. He missed a little jumper, but once again, that offensive rebound, that quickness to the ball by the Lakers here that we've seen the entire third period. Iverson has a shot blocked by 
Fisher. Still slow. Iverson. Is able to recover that because of the Bruce Brick injury for Kale. It counts. And the foul. Well, he just wheeled in there, and Dikembe Matumbo leads with his head. He is very fortunate that he really has not gotten hurt with some of these power moves, but just watch the head of Matumbo as he leans right in there, and Jack, with that shoulder, powers himself to the basket. Marvel, I've said before, I think Shaq is the most difficult guy in the league to referee. What is a normal move, and what is excessive? I don't know how you can determine that with him. He's so strong. Single coverage on O'Neal. Gives it up. Horace Grant, yes. Six points for Horace. O'Neal to the hook shot. And a very friendly roll with five and six tenths seconds remaining in the third. Roger Bell with one on the shot clock is blocked, and it's a 24-second violation. Now Shaq guarded by Matt Geiger and is foul. Looks like they might be going to the hack of Shaq here. They've got Geiger in the game trying to protect Matumbo with foul. So will they go the substitution, bring Matumbo in when they have the ball, try to get Geiger out there to take some fouls? O'Neal with a power move, not able to hit. O'Neal. And a foul. That will put the 76ers over the foul of it. Tyrone Hill is rejected emphatically by <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. You think Shaq was letting him know that air ball was out of his mind. He wasn't thinking about it. He said, OK, you want to challenge me in here? I'll toss that right up into row three. Third block for Shaq. McCullough rejected by O'Neal. Marv, it's going to be really interesting. This Philadelphia fans and see Tyrone. Oh, it counts and the foul. Coming up on 10 seconds remaining, and the Los Angeles Lakers will make it a second straight NBA crowd. Fox threw that three in <laughs> at the clock. It looked like he just threw it up there to hit the backboard, and he made it. <laughs> just looking to run it down. That's the way it's gone for the Lakers, who finish with a 15 and 1 run the best all time playoff winning percentage in the history of the league so game one of the nba finals is underway the lakers controlling the opening tip o'neal getting position shaquille o'neal going right at todd mccullum fox being played by king gets it inside See right at the start, the intent of the Lakers is to get that ball down low and Todd McCullough having his difficulties. And why wouldn't the Lakers come here? This is where the mismatch is in the series, the glaring gap. And what Todd McCullough is doing wrong here is he's doing nothing in anticipation. There is no preparation whatsoever. And granted, he's outmatched physically. Brian tries to get a down low and goes as Shaquille O'Neal comes through with his third field goal. He has six points. And what you don't want to see from New Jersey is them having to have Jason Kidd walk the ball up the floor. And watch out. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal would be by Todd McCullough to hit the reverse. Eight points for Shaq on four of six from the field. Meanwhile, the Lakers with very sharp ball movement, feeling very confident here at the start. O'Neal, yes. He's just moving so well. All season long, plagued by the bad toe. Rejected by O'Neal. With no pressure on Shaq to guard Todd McCullough, he just zones it up in the basket area, getting defensive rebound, igniting fast break. When the penetration does come, you got to come all the way into Shaq and then lay it off for somebody else who's shooting while Shaq is denying penetration. Beautiful block. Shaquille O'Neal. For 12 points. But Sacramento has the advantage of playing against the Lakers a ton of times, not only in the regular season, but the last three years in a row in the playoffs. So they have gotten a sense of what to do, what it's like to play against the big man who throws it down, throws it down one more time. Shaq has hit his last seven shots. He has 14 points, and the Lakers lead it 40 to 19. Shaq. 16 points. He's hit his last eight. Kenyon Martin has got to start thinking out there. He can't use back to the basket moves. And the Lakers 
have taken a 52-36 lead. O'Neal with his first field goal. Jason Collins is playing some ball out there. And now he's out here, he's tipping balls to teammates on the offensive end. He's standing in front of Shaq. He's willing to fight. Are there any other nets who are willing to do the same? Oh, Shaquille O'Neal getting the roll. Shaq has 28, Lakers 84, the Nets 79. O'Neal backing his way. Just under three remaining in this fourth quarter. O'Neal, yes. 33 points, along with 14 rebounds for Shaquille O'Neal. The Lakers 91, the Nets 85. Now Martin, who hit one just a moment ago, rebound O'Neal. And here is Ori checking the clock, and instead of scoring, he looks to run it out. The Lakers are hearing it from this crowd as they take game one. Score 99 to 94. It appeared to be on the verge of a blowout with the Lakers jumping to a 23 point lead in the first half, but the Nets got back into it. All right, thank you very much, Marv. I'm here with Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, congratulations on a good game tonight. How is it that the Lakers, up by 23 points, made this an adventure? Well, I think we just got kind of lax today. You know, we don't really know much about this team now that we know what they have and what they're going to do. I think we'll be a little bit more focused. Uh, this is the type of team they're never going to give up, so we have to do everything right, and we will. Did you just do enough to win tonight? Was that the case? It's all about winning. We could have played better, but, you know, it's all about us. You know, it's nothing that they did. You know, we just messed around, and we just had to pick it up, and we will. You know, it's only our third time playing this team. We don't really know that much about them, but right now we're just trying to win four games. We already won one, so we got three more wins to go. Jack, was there any letdown from the great series that you guys had played against Sacramento? Was there a mental letdown, maybe? I'm not going to blame it on a mental letdown. So don't be bringing it up. You know, it's all about us just going out there playing team ball, execute. And we just got kind of lackadaisical. I, you know, I wouldn't blame it on a mental letdown. You know, we don't really know much about the team. Now that we know, we'll pick it up. Don't be right. trying to make stuff up, Jim. <laughs> all right. Jack, congratulations. Good game tonight. Mark. Lewis, the officials, Ben at Salvatore, Steve Jabby, and Don Vaden. Only two teams, the 69 Celtics, the 77 Trailblazers, have ever come back from a 2 0 deficit to win the NBA Finals. Kobe Bryant over Curry Kittles. Uh, Kobe would like to get going. Only 6 of 16 from the field in game number one. Shot clock to five. See Shaq check the clock. Puts the move on McCullough. That guy's pretty good. <laughs> Here comes Kidd to help. A little extra step taken there by Shaquille O'Neal. Here is Kittles on the quick release, shooting the three. Gary Kittles with a green light here at the start. He is determined. He, he made this a decision back at the hotel at the beach today. I'm shooting every time I touch it. Oh, the by Shaquille O'Neal. Throw it down, big man. Throw it down. Kittles for three. Start. This game has had more excitement in the first six minutes than we saw all of game one. Now the Lakers get it down. Nets did not get back. Aaron Williams defending on Shaquille O'Neal. Feeling for Williams. Goes to the drop step. Shaquille O'Neal thought he was fouled. He now has 14 points for Shaq. Shaquille doing it from all angles. A little deeper shot. 7 of 9, 16 points. Harris. And the net shooting uh, continues to be oh. Oh. inside. And the Lakers lead 37, 29. Here's the line. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for the rest of that song. 
other than throw it down. I know that's got to be the refrain, but, uh, you know, they not put any pressure on the passer. That allows Jack to use his size and his strength against McCullough, and he's too late. And you're just not going to be able to make an impression on the Lakers unless you can score against them. This is not Boston. You know, New Jersey had a good time against New Jersey. That's Boston. How about Shaq? Three for three from the line. Another one. Oh, McCullough had his back turn, and O'Neal going for the rim was able to slam it down. <laughs> this is a clinic of how to play the center position. Scoring, rebounding, blocking, laying the passes off. Changed his mind, did not shoot for three. Beautiful ball movement. All right, Marble, I told to Shaquille O'Neal before the game, he was upset with some comments by Rick Adelman today uh, that he heard. Uh, he had a response. He says, the more you complain, the more not dominant I will become. All of this will do nothing. As he goes, will go to the foul line once again on that dunk. All of this will do nothing but make me mad. He didn't complain when I was missing. I have the following to say to Mark Cuban and Rick Adelman. Don't cry, just dry your eye. Mark? All right. Well, he is right about one thing. When he was stepping over the line and missing, it was fine. Now that he's making them, they're saying it's illegal. So, uh, you know, Shaq is Shaq. He's going to have those games where he makes a lot of free throws. He's also going to have those games where he misses a lot. For sure. Yes. With his first field goal. Bryant for three. 16 points for Kobe Bryant. The Lakers win by 11. O'Neal on the recovery. Look at that. Once again by Aaron Williams, who took a ride on Shaquille O'Neal. Devin George has checked back in, replacing Rick Fox. And Shaq hitting the free throws. Harris. have missed their last eight shots. The drop step points for Shaq and a 17-point lead. Here's Shaw for three. And that's to the double team and an open up for Brian Shaw. And they're getting killed in every aspect of the game. Collins fell down. He thought he was pushed. No call made and Shaquille O'Neal able to take advantage. Here's George. Oh! O'Neal to the rebound, and he is fouled by Collins. Shaquille now has 40 points. Lakers with an 85-77 lead. Fisher for three. Yes. Orin thought he was fouled. Fisher right on target, and the shot has returned for Derek Fisher. Only two teams in the history of the NBA Finals have ever come back from a 2-0 a deficit. That's not to say that it can't be done, but it's very difficult. He's able to hit from downtown. So the Lakers win this one going away. Led by as many as 20. The Nets got back into it. But as we've been saying, you never have the feeling that it was a ball game. Jack, they got it down to six. Did you ever feel this game was in doubt? <laughs> you better get ready. You better get ready for tomorrow. The Tyson Lewis bout. Uh, no, you know, they're a great team. Jason Kidd's MVP this year. You know, he's a great player. You know, they fight. They hustle. We know that if we get a lead, we got to take care of the ball, play smart. And you know, a couple of times, you know, we had a couple of laps, you know, they just came back. But we know what it takes to win. And we know what it takes to, you know, maintain our composure and keep our lead. You were plus 36 on the court tonight. Have you been able to intimidate the Nets? I'm not trying to intimidate them. I'm just trying to win. I always said to myself, after the disappointing sweep against the Houston Rockets. And if I ever get back to this level, I need to, you know, set my mark, let my name be you known, and try to win. Uh, we have two, and right now I'm just focusing on number three. You know, I don't get into all of, you know, trying to you know, intimidate people. I'm, I'm just playing. Do you think there's anything that the Nets can do to make this more competitive? You know, we're used to any type of defense. So, you know, whatever type of defense they throw, we just have to play smart. And you better be smart tomorrow. Don't you know, ask Mike Nutton. Did, you... <laughs> Did you like hitting me? Who are you picking? I like Mike. I like Lennox. I just wanted to be a nice, clean fight, and I wouldn't mind seeing Mike Tyson back on top. Jack, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you. Todd McCullough and Shaquille O'Neal on the opening tip. Controlled 
by the Nats. The Nets are hoping to disrupt Shaquille O'Neal this evening by going with what they call more decisive double teams. Not there, though, as Shank is able to hit on the quick move. Robert Ory breaks the offense by flashing up against the trap. Eric Fisher is turned back, but O'Neal is there, lost it, and able to recover. Throw it down, big man. Throw it down. Get on the offensive glass. A cut of with it. An air ball off that jump hook. Shaquille O'Neal. So that is his third field goal. O'Neal draws the foul. Shaq will go to the line. Akala picks up the foul. So Shaq hearing some boos back in his home area, born in Newark, New Jersey. Again, McCullough is stopped. What New Jersey has to do is keep scoring and keep scoring the two. O'Neal just stepping around McCullough, and here are the Lakers up by eight. O'Neal gets inside, yes, and it counts, and another foul on Williams. They need the motion offense, which they're not able to get in, into, and uh, they have to put fouls on Andre Gil O'Neal, which they have not been able to do. Here's Shaq on the follow. So the Lakers now lead 42 to 28. Fisher for O'Neal. On the stuff, he now has 19, and the Lakers lead 48 40. Oh, when he comes out of those plays, grimacing and growling and grumbling and roaring, throw it down, big man. Throw it down. This is Kobe time, so you got to keep him in front of you. They don't. Oh, Bryant able to find O'Neal. So Shaq has 21 points. Lakers 50, Nets 42. Shaq throws back out. Fisher over Kidd. O'Neal. <laughs> Martin thought he had a, a potential block timed, did not. He threw three guys out of his way and didn't even commit an offensive foul doing it. Guys just flying around. O'Neal, very friendly rim for Shaquille O'Neal, who has 25 of the Lakers' lead. By seven, here's McCullough, rejected by O'Neal, kept alive by Fox. Now Fisher from downtown. Yes. So Fisher has picked it up from three-point land after having huge problems earlier in the postseason. O'Neal getting position on Collins. A power move by Shaquille O'Neal. That's 30 for Shaq. Shaw. O'Neal and a foul. If it's Williams, it's number five. Ori from downtown. How many times have we seen Robert Ory come up with a clutch shot from beyond that three-point line? The Lakers now lead 98 to 96. And that's only his second basket of the game. He's got six points here, all of them on three-pointers. Ory trying to get it to Shaq. Five on the shot clock. Out of three. O'Neal going blast with one on the 24. 102 to 98. Just under one minute remaining. In the fourth quarter, Kidd with the step, Kidd rejected by O'Neal, and the save by George. Shaquille O'Neal with his fourth block shot, and a foul on Van Horn with 42 seconds to go. Shaquille O'Neal still on the floor, indicating that he's all right. Trying to find out if that hand is in yeah. one piece. Phil Jackson was up off the bench. He realized that that defensive stop was the difference between an easy championship and one that's going to be a lot harder. But this block and Shaq keeping it inbounds. Devin George once again feeding off the brilliant play of Shaq, keeping this ball inbound. And Shaq's very tough landing. Basketball world can only hope that he's all right. Four point, Lumber lead. Collins takes the shot. Kid with the back tap. Van Horn falling away. Kept alive with seven seconds remaining. Here's Kid for three. Yes! Nets do not have any timeouts remaining. Final seconds. They must foul. Van Horn grabbing Fox with 3.5 to go. Fox hits on both. Three point lead. Oh, yeah. They didn't realize they had the foul again. Kid gets it off. And the Lakers have defeated the Nets. 106, 103. A heartbreaking loss for the Nets, for the Lakers. 
Another illustration of how well they face the pressure, in particular on the road in the postseason. Mention the Mets going for the zone. They plan to play even more zone. Here's O'Neill. They still want to go with more decisive double teams. Shaq, it counts, and the foul. Pushed from behind by Martin. Now Kenyon Martin is finding out that he's got to change his game from one of physical intimidation and power to one of trying to play a thinking man's chess game. And Shaquille O'Neal, who has come so far at the foul line, is able to complete the three-point play. And the Laker defense continuing to make Jason Kidd a shooter. He's taken 67 shots in this series to only get 70-something points. That's not good enough. And that will not work if Shaquille O'Neal, from the net point of view, is able to get that kind of position, get that deep. There is no way that uh, he will be stopped. Derek Fisher on target, and he has provided an enormous lift for the Lakers uh, in this NBA Finals Series. Neal. Shaquille O'Neal with a strong move. The crowd looking for an offensive foul. Jefferson has a three out of one. Back it goes to Jefferson. That pass slightly off. Robert always got to wake up. O'Neal. Well, Shaquille remaining in the front court. And the Lakers took advantage. Ryan Shaw, who has not been a major contributor thus far in the finals after playing so well. As a, a spot guy against the Sacramento Kings. Shot clock to five. They surround the Shaq. So here's George for three. Yes. That's the with another one of those passes. Ori has 12 points on four shot attempts. He has four assists and a block shot. It's amazing how it's yeah. blocked by O'Neal and then Martin draws the foul. Mark. All right, Lewis. Nets going to the pressure again, and Shaquille O'Neal wide open off the trapping defense by New Jersey. Shaquille O'Neal referring to uh, Todd McCullough as a respectable player, which he is. Had a solid year, but he's going up against one of the great centers of all time. O'Neal with the strong move on McCullough. Todd that time trying to get a little physical. Byron Scott can't believe it. O'Neal is fouled by Collins. So that's six on Jason Collins. A minute and a half remaining in this New Jersey Net season. A net team that went 52 and 30 during the regular season. Best record in the Eastern Conference. But the Lakers are on their way to a sweep. 33 points for Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal in this four-game series averaging better than 36 points per game and he has now moved in front of Akeem Olajuwon most points in a four-game series and Akeem did it against uh, Shaquille back in, in 95. Well, Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. They wrap it up in the four-game sweep by beating the Nets 113 to 107. And Phil Jackson has equaled Red Auerbach's record of nine.